Hello lovelies, welcome back to another video. Today I will be sharing with you all how I make my homemade focaccia bread. This focaccia, you don't need to knead it. It's so simple and easy to put together. You can enjoy this focaccia just as your breakfast or your lunch. You can also make it just as your sandwich. Just prepare with some slices of egg, tomato and lettuce. It's very easy to make and this is one of my kids' favorites. Let's come along as I show you the ingredients for it. The first thing I did here is to add in my bowl 4 cups of flour. And my active yeast, my yeast is already active. And a teaspoon of salt, I would say add salt to your preference and tablespoon of sugar. And I'll be adding water to it. Make sure your water is warm. And I will be mixing this together with my fork. And I added olive oil to it. I will be making use of my hand to mix it properly so that it can combine together in a better way. So after mixing my focaccia dough, I will cover with a cling film. But if you have a clean kitchen towel cloth, you can as well use it to cover it. I will allow this to rest for two hours so that it can double rise in size. And I will be making use of this porcelain as my focaccia pan. If you have a cake pan, you have your oven tray, you can as well make use of that. Then I will be putting my baking paper on it so that it will not stick on it. So I just have to drop a little bit of olive oil on it and I'll be using my brush to just rub it. So after two hours you cannot see my focaccia have double rise inside so I just have to put it inside my pan or my porcelain pan. So what I did here is that I used my hands just to extend it 
it will be a little bit sticky if it's too sticky just drop some olive oil in your hands or just put your hands inside a cold water so i have to cover again for another extra 40 minutes i will cover with my kitchen towel cloth so after 40 minutes this is what it look like as you can see my focaccia have double rise in size so i added a tablespoon of salt and water and olive oil i would say add salt to your preference because you know focaccia have that salty taste if you want it to be more salty double your measurement of salt if you don't also want it to be too salty you can also reduce and just add a teaspoon of salt but for me i added a tablespoon of salt to it so the next thing i did i began to pour in my mixed water olive oil and uh, the salt which i added to it i just began to pour it in my focaccia so i used my hands just to put a hole or just to put the normal dot which the focaccia have but when doing this just be careful so that you will not over press it it will not go and punch a hole in the middle of it so i added rosemary leaf if you prefer using the oregano you can as well make use of it So after having my rosemary leaf, I'll be taking this inside the oven for 220 degrees, but it all depends on the regulation of your oven. So after 30 minutes of leaving it inside the oven, this is my focaccia. It can take you 25 minutes. My focaccia is ready. I just quickly take it out of my pan and put it on my oven rack so that it can still retain the crust from it if you leave it in your pan it will absorb the heat from your pan and that will not be good for your focaccia so as you can see it is ready i just want to cut it into two parts so that you all can see how the focaccia look like so friends you can see how soft it is just take a look at this it's so soft and it's very good for a perfect sandwich just look at how soft it is this is perfect and divine so friends this is the end of today's video i hope you do enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel share this video and bye friends see you in my next video stay blessed